fact, water is pretty good. You might want to drink it while you're there. Okay. Now it's not just, you know, it's not a bottle in a refrigerator waiting for you to take. You actually have to mine the water molecules out of the surface of the moon to obtain this. So you need a, a mechanism to do that. But we have very good evidence that there is indeed water there fulfilling the expectations for it being a coal trap and the moon getting hit by comets over its multi-billion year lifespan. All right, so you have the water to drink. Water is H2O. If you have another machine that can split the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen, that's rocket fuel. It's one variety of rocket fuel. If you have an, a hydrogen tank and an oxygen tank, and then you merge them, the hydrogen joins with the oxygen to make the water molecule and is highly exothermic. Energy is released. So you can go to the moon, we sent the supplies up front, take the water out of the crater basins, drink some of it, make rocket fuel out of the rest, and now you have rocket fuel to come back to the Earth. In NASA, they call this ISRU, in situ resource utilization. There are no permanent settlements anywhere in the solar system unless you have some kind of ISRU. Later on, you bring up a digital printer. You just dump some lunar lunar regolith into it, like the lunar soils, and maybe it'll melt it and fuse it and turn it into pottery or whatever. <laughs> whatever you need, perhaps a future 3D printer will get that for you on the moon. I, I'm loving it. 